Hi guys, this is Juni Lulakar, and I'd like to give you some tips on the format function, how to get that done, um, some of the math things that you need to know. Um, so this format function that we're making for the stopwatch program, um, it takes in a parameter a t, and some people have been thinking that this is a time. Well, t is actually not a time per se, but rather it's a count of the number of ticks that the timer has fired so every time a timer event is triggered you count it as one tick so counting goes from one two three four five we all know how to count um, it just goes from one two three four five and just keeps going as the timer keeps ticking when we stop then the counting stops so what we have in T is actually a count not a time so how do you get the time from uh, this count of ticks that you have? Well, what do we know about t, the number of ticks? We know that there's one tick every tenth of a second, and every second there are ten tenths of a second, and every minute has sixty seconds in it. Okay, so what's the math in, in here? Um, let's let small letter s be the number of ticks which is tenths of a second now I'm going to avoid the 0 0.1 notation because that just confuses people it kinda of leads them to think that I'm gonna to need to do like decimal math well there's no decimal math involved in this at all um, so let's let again small letter s be the number of ticks um, SS with the capitals is the number of seconds and M is the number of minutes. So with the number of facts that we had in the previous slide, we have seconds is 10 uh, of the tenths of a second, right? SS equals 10 times small s and M equals 60 times SS. So what about smaller letter S? Well, S is just S, right? S is equal to S. S is the number of ticks. It's the one unit that we want to have. It's the smallest uh, unit that will go. So S doesn't have a conversion factor, really. It's just one. And that's why I wanted to avoid the 0 0.1 notation, because a lot of people get confused with that. So one unit is really one-tenth of a second. So if you're still lost with those conversion numbers, let's talk about money then, since I can't give away the, the answer to um, our, our uh, program. Let's, let's equate this to um, converting money. If we have P is a penny, which is the smallest unit that we will go, a P is actually a hundredth of a dollar, right? Just as uh, in our example, T is a uh, is a tenth of a second. So P here is a hundredth of a dollar or one cent. And but we just say one cent because it's the smallest that will go. And then D is dimes, which is ten cents or, or ten pennies. And capital D is dollars, right? So there are ten dimes in one dollar and ten pennies in a dime. And what about P? Well, like I said, P is just P, right? Because it's the smallest unit that we'll, we're going to go. All right, so if I had 287 pennies, since D, small letter D, equals uh, 10P, and dollars equals 10 dimes, then dollars is equal to 10 times 10 pennies is equal to a hundred pennies at this point right and if you had 287 pennies then you would have 287 divided by a hundred which is two dollars with a remainder of 87 pennies right so in Python how do you get this you have 287 which is the number of pennies that you have and divide it by that conversion factor which is a hundred and you get two and the double slash there is the integer division, which gives you only the integer part. We know that 287 divided by 100 is uh, 2.87, but since this is integer division, you only get 
the whole number too. And then to get the remainder, you, you use the modulo operator, which is 287 modulo 100, which gives you 87, which is the remainder. So that's that. That's the math for the dollars, kind of similar to the math you'll use for the minutes. So if I had 287 pennies, I want to look. I want to see how many dimes I have for 287 pennies. Now we know that number of dimes or one dime is is equal to 10 pennies. So if you had 287 pennies, you would do 287 divided by 10, right? and then you'd get 28 dimes and you'd have seven pennies left over. And again, in Python, you just do 287 slash slash 10, which would give you 28. That's the number of dimes you get. And then the remainder is seven, which is number of pennies and 287 pennies if you take away all the dimes. And what's P? Well, it's just seven, right? That's the number of pennies. So there you have it. You have 287 pennies is the same as two dollars and eighty seven pennies which is the same as two dollars eight dimes and seven pennies pretty simple right so show me the money how do we format this you have two dollars eight dimes and seven pennies um, let's say in Python we have these variables d equals two which is the dollars and small d equals eight which is the number of dimes we have and 7p will be uh, the number of pennies we have. To format that we just take a dollar sign concatenate it with the string of D that'll give us two and then we put a dot for the decimal and then the string of the number eight and the string of the number seven which is in the variable P and D respectively and that gives us $2.87. Pretty simple, right? It's cheating. Looks like we're cheating, but we're really not. We All we want is a string that represents these numbers in a given format. So there you have it. That's uh, that's pretty much the math that you need to do, or, or the string math, I should say, to format the numbers um, that we have for the format function in in the stopwatch program now I I found that a lot of people have been you know just kinda of going through and trying things out and I made a template that'll help you actually test this as you go if you go to the forums and you search for this this posting that I made the test harness for format T function hopefully it'll help you um, I have a link to the template you want to click on this link and very importantly so that you can you can work in your own version line you want to click right away on the fresh URL button when you open up this test harness page so I click on the test harness and then I get a fresh URL so I have my own version line because you'll be making a lot of versions for this as you try this out and so here's the trivial implementation of the format t function that only works for t equals zero it actually doesn't work it kind of fake works for t equals zero because we're hard coding the value zero here but this is basically what you're going to do you're going to calculate how many minutes calculate how many seconds you have and the tenths and then just add them up here just format them just like I showed you in the slides um, just put the proper formatting characters in there that you want and then it'll give you a string that shows um, the time formatted in however way it's needed to be formatted so if I run this test real quick you'll see that over here it has the results so you don't even have to go and inspect them one by one one character at a time it the 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 the, the test harness will just tell you if it failed like this or if it passed like this. So if you have the formulas for calculating these things, it's really pretty quick. 
I just change these and I'm gonna I'm gonna hide these here I'm not gonna show you what the formula are but I'm gonna type them in and show you as I, I as I change each one how um, the test will start passing so now I have only one test passing I change I, and I, I recommend you start with the tenths because tenths is kind of the easiest one to complete so I go in and put in the right formula for tenths um, all right I made the change now I'm gonna run it and now I suddenly have three tests passing right and now actually I'm gonna go change the minutes first because the minutes is also kind of easy All right, that's the formula for minutes, and I'm going to pass. And then I got more tests that pass. And then here, last but not least, I'm going to type in the formula for to format. Now, the, the formatting, the formula for seconds is a little bit tricky. You're going to have to do um, like zero padding for that. And there are already posts in the forum to, 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 to find out. Well, you'll already find information in the forums to figure out how to pad um, the number of seconds with a zero. So I won't go into that here. But anyway, if I enter the formula for the seconds, It just takes a few keystrokes and it all passes right so in less than actually in less than five minutes if you have all the formulas that you need you'll get all these tests to pass in your format function working so I hope this is this will help you guys and um, go ahead and use the the test template to um, do some testing and some experimenting and hopefully you will be able to get your format function done. Thanks for listening, and have a great day.